Whitney Cummings hanging out with us right now. Tell us about your brand new special. Congratulations. Thank you. Can I touch it on Netflix? Now on Netflix. Whitney Cummings. Can I touch it? Yep. Okay, so what are we touching? I called it Can I Touch It because I tried to think of what the theme of the special was for me. And the theme of it, you know, I talk a lot about sexual harassment and what was going on in the news at the time. And there's sort of, you know, maybe asking right. someone before you do, Absolutely. do something. Ask. Right. And then I found myself being scared to talk about certain things. Like, can, can I, I touch, touch this topic? Right. Can I touch this? Is this too sensitive? Right. And uh, a robot does come out at yes. the end of the special. And I found myself in the situation where I have this robot and people would come up to her and they'd be like, oh my God, can, can, I, touch can I touch it? And I was like, it's so fascinating that you want permission to touch the thing with no mm. feelings, but when it comes to a human, you're just like, you know. Yeah. So I just found it really interesting, interesting who people feel comfortable touching, who they don't feel comfortable touching. And just because it's been such a big conversation, right. you know, in our zeitgeist, it just, uh, it made sense on a couple levels. I feel like we were all getting a little sloppy at the office. I used to work with this guy. Every day he'd run past me, he put his hands in between my butt cheeks, like this, and he'd yell to the whole office. He'd go, I'm swiping a credit card, I'm swiping a credit card. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I'd be like, you're declined, you're declined. And you're putting your jokes together. How, how is that process? Because it's, it's so beautiful awful. to learn Oh, it's horrible. Is it? It's a nightmare. Why? Oh, it's <laughs> awful. It, people have this idea that stand-ups, like, we walk on stage and it just, like, comes to us and we're, right. like, possessed by the comedy <laughs> devil and we're just hilarious and we just, like, come up with it on the spot. It's not true. <laughs> like, it's just at a computer, like, is this funny? Or is this funny? Are pants funny? Are these right. funny? And for me, like, I've learned as I get older, a lot of times I just have to go out in the world and have a life. Art can't imitate life if it you can. don't have a life. Right. So sometimes for me, I just have to like go to the mall. Right. I just have to like go to the grocery store right. and just like walk around and like just observe people. And you know, what's really killing me is I got engaged and I can't go on dates anymore. <laughs> I asked my fiance, I was like, can I just go on a couple dates? No. Like, <laughs> you can't go on a couple dates. Like, but I need some new jokes. Can I right. like, we either have to have a kid or I have to start dating again. So yeah. when there's got it, one or the other. <laughs> Because you need, it. that's what happens, I think, is you become more successful and you start solving problems right. and then you're not funny anymore. Yeah. I think it's the only job where you succeed by failing over and over. You have to get up every night yes. and fail. Right, and it's good that people see the truth behind this. You know what I mean? Like, this is what it is. Yeah. It's a struggle and it's hard and it's long and it's tedious. And well, making people laugh right now is even harder. We live in a tough, in some tough times, you know, and I think that, you know, there's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of bleak stuff on the news right yeah. now, which I think means people need comedy more than right. ever, but it does feel weird sometimes with what's going on in the news. Then I'm like, Hey guys, like yeah. what's up with Facebook? You know, yeah. it's, <laughs> so I think a lot of times when you walk into a room, you have to figure out, okay, what went on in the news today? What's everybody's what's the energy? What's everyone feeling? Right. Got to address it it's and a lot. through it. Who are some of your heroes in the comedy world. That oh wow! You've had so many, so ben. many, so many, so many. Um, George Carlin, um, Richard Pryor. Um, uh, I've loved Adam Sandler for mm -hmm. so long. He's oh, I love how playful he's Fun, always yes. been. Ellen DeGeneres is like the. I mean, yes. to me, is she's like her sitcom was my favorite sitcom on the planet. Wow! It, okay. I still watch it. It's so good to this day, and she has this ability to just make something you would never even notice into a lot, 10 minute joke. When you first met one of your heroes or anyone that you looked up to, do you remember that moment where you feel like, damn, I wish I could go back in time and fix that? When I met Joan Rivers, that was pretty magical. I wish I had, I had heard in an interview that she doesn't like when women say like, I got in a stand up because of you, because she's like, it just makes me feel old. And yeah. she had such a funny take on it. She's like, I know I'm why you're into stand up. I know I'm a legend. <laughs> like she had such a funny <laughs> thing about it. So when I met her, she, it was at one of the Comedy Central roasts and she was so, I had just insulted her for 10 minutes. Like the cruelest, most brutal jokes. Joan Rivers has done some TV. I actually recently saw her vagina on an episode of The Deadliest Catch. <laughs> Cause that's what we do there. And she was like, she pulled me aside and she's like, you're the real deal, you're the real deal. And it was, I mean, her saying that to me kept me going for years wow. of horrible shows and bombing and like being broke and wanting to give up. Just her, that was a refrain in my head 
but I wanted to tell her, you're my hero, yeah. you're why I am doing this, but I remembered she didn't like that, so I just was like, okay. <laughs> And it just seemed like I, you know, like so you I, didn't appreciate it. I was like, it. I never got to tell her how big of a fan I was. I right. mean, she knew I tweeted and posted about it, but in that moment, I just, I so badly wanted to not make her feel old because yeah. I'd heard it on an interview, so I panicked. Winnie, you are so great. Thank you for being here Thanks today. For me. Thank I'm you for exciting. making us all laugh. Thank you for just, you know, bringing that beautiful energy here. And, Thank you. you know, shout out to all the lady comedians out there because you guys are work so hard yeah. and, you know, you guys deserve it. Thank you for making a set where I know what to do with my legs. Yes! Because on most talk shows, you're here, you don't yes. you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You're in kind of like a limp. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I was like, you're, let me just the, relax. You don't know where the camera's on. This is like a great. Yeah, I should have done this. I wish I'd been this person. The whole time. Yeah.